and welcome to today's tutorial. Um, we're going to be running on uh, Pro Tools here and we're going to run you through um, a vocal recording template uh, using only stock plugins. So that means you don't need anything besides Pro Tools to open and use this. Um, you know, most people would use Auto Tune on top, um, but most of you guys out there working in this sort of genre um, already have that, which is cool. Um, so, not necessary though. Okay, cool. So the reason we kind of use this, or this is a really quick way or way to speed up your workflow and figure out your vocal arrangements, maybe working with an artist, maybe yourself uh, writing yourself, something like that. But it means we can kind of flesh things out relatively quickly, get the vibe going rather than getting sort of bogged down in um, all the technical components, which is great. So at the top here, we've got click track, always handy. Okay, we've got our master bus um, where everything is routed to. I just got this stock standard limiter right here, just crabbing anything, making sure it doesn't clip as we're sort of writing. Okay, then we've got two channels of uh, beat. So I've got two track instrumental, for example. Um, and then here would be something like, oh, you've got, you want to do, I don't know, a specific filter thing or like a lo-fi thing. You can just drag and drop in there to make it easy. So original track, original track modulated track or affected track and then back to the original track which is pretty handy um, low cut filter you know all the standard things which is great cool um, do have auto key set up here which means that it's going to track and then corroborate with auto tune if you are using or it's going to talk to each other but again if you don't have those don't stress about it cool okay then we've got our vocal bus so vocal bus basically is where all our vowel vocals end up living okay so at the end of the day, after you've tracked everything, basically it'll be these two channels that you adjust the volume, all right, then out through your master channel and ready to go. So pretty quick. Um, below this vocal bus, we've got a New York compression. Um, if you're not sure parallel or NY compression is, uh, don't stress out, I will do another tutorial on that specifically. Okay, now we get to the meat and potatoes, the recording section. So I've got one record arm track here. Okay, this is just what all of our tracks live on. So you can just leave this as channel one, for example. Okay, and track everything in here. And then everything else kind of fans out from here. So above, all right, is our playlist tracks. And this is where we can take ideas that are sort of working, um, but maybe we're not 100% sold on. You're like, oh, it's pretty cool. I don't want to delete it, but I don't want to come back. Oh, I might come back to it. So we can chuck that up there in one of those playlists. And you can see that they're already muted. So these are these are spare parts, essentially, which is cool. Okay, cool. Once you're happy with, say, the vocal take, all right, maybe that's that one. We can start dragging it down into our lead or our comp track, all right? So our combination track. So that's where you can be coming through. You can redo parts if you need to. You can layer some stuff up, okay? If you do want to do doubles on, say, a chorus, then obviously they can live A and B, for example, A, B, C, or you can, you can kind of build out the tune from there if you go on left and right, stacks and stuff like that. Cool. Okay, so this is where all our comps live. So if we record everything in live here, then we just drop it in. We can make all our edits. Okay, make our vocal sound nice and smooth. And as you can see here with the vocal bus, okay, everything routes into the same vocal chain. So you're going to get a good sense of what's going on as we're doing it. Cool. All right, below that we've got our ad libs. So that's for stuff like here. So your shout outs, your calls, all of those sort of spare bits um, that make the track, you know, bits of ear candy as you need to. Um, so they're there. Okay. Um, producer tags, you could throw in there, all of those sorts of things. Okay. All of the pink stuff, as you can see here, is all um, quick effects. So the idea here is you can just drop this in um, real quick. Might not be perfect, but it sort of gives you a bit of a vibe of what's going to happen. So, say for example, you've got your uh, the end of your vocal. Okay, and you're like, man, I really love this. This is sitting in our lead bus, for example. Okay, let's like this. This is our vocal comp. All right, I'll just make it visually nice and easy. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, let's. Um, I like this idea, but I just want to add a bit of color to it, I suppose. So what we can do is now we can have this bit. It's going to run through our processor. Cool. Let's make it a little bit bigger so it's a bit obvious. Cool, awesome. Okay, down here, it's like a big Atmos reverb, so it's gonna hang a lot. Cool, all right, here we've got a radio echo, okay. Beautiful, real easy, real easy way to create a lot of interest really quickly. Okay, below that, we've got all our send and return. So we've got uh, 
three reverbs, so plate, hall, room. Okay, how you're going to use this is going to depend on you. These D verbs are basically set up with rough sizes and algorithms, so you, you'll be in the ballpark-ish. Okay, then we've got a half note, quarter note, and eighth note delay. Okay, all pretty standard. Um, only difference here, this this quarter note I tend to use a lot, so I added a side chain in here and a little bit of stereo width just to kind of push it a little bit left and right, which is cool. Okay, so this is center returns. Okay, all those can be accessed through here. Just boom, select what you want, you're ready to go. Cool. Okay, vocal bus, this is where the majority of the action takes place. So just got all standard um, plug-in chain all ready to use, which is great. So we got, um, you know, just a low cut, that's about it. Okay, then we got DSR, classic. We got just a stock compressor, you know, three to one, four to one, it's ready to go. You got another EQ here, just a bit of post-processing. Then we got some analog EQ, so 76, uh, and then LA2A, very classic combination. Um, I do like the MC77 um, as well, which is the purple one that looks pretty much like this. So this is great, sound cool. Um, over here, we've got all our send and return. So we've got our quarter note, uh, a reverb, okay, um, with that corresponds down here okay that's our quarter note delay yep or our side chain input for example we've got 1176 which is our parallel we've got the half note we've got the plate we've got the quarter and so forth and so forth so you can mix and match these to kind of fit all right so yeah that's about it it's pretty straightforward um it's flexible okay so sometimes with templates i find them them they're either too detailed or not detailed enough so this is a good kind of middle ground we can kind of flesh out ideas say the project and then maybe save it as not you know vocal vocal complicated arrangement song one then you can build that out and then kind of generate it but also means if you're working in the studio it helps generate ideas with artists who might be struggling you'd be like oh we could try this um let's try this over here what do you think of this and then that'll springboard some um hopefully some good music cool um like i said um yeah below you should be able to find the download link and um yeah i will see you in the next video